the white pheasant. I don't see them very often. Oh, that's why you love to see sheep in the field are meant to be in. Oh, my toe. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's the drill working there. It's frosty. Good to go. It's pretty cold this morning, frosty. The window's frozen shut. These pigs had escaped. Just got them all back in, but they managed to nudge or break the end of this gate and get out. And they've literally made the shed a pigsty, so all this is usually clear. There's a bale sitting there and the bedding just gets chucked in. But they got out over there and scattered it everywhere. Thanks, pigs. Oh, some morning, Doug. Anyway, back home. Freshly's fed as well, pigs are fed there. Stuck behind Kev the whole way back. Just shifting some frosty straw. I'm not really showing too much of the cows at the moment just because it's the same thing every single morning. Feed them, bed them. Well, not bed them every morning, but you get what I mean. Forker of the morning. Lights just start to come through. Frosty. Puddles are all frozen, but it's nice and calm and clear skies and dry. I get questions about the straw all the time. So we have an abundance of wheat straw. So ammonia treated wheat straw in replacement of silage. It's effectively low quality silage is what it comes out as. It makes the bedding much drier where the cows are. The cows absolutely love it. It doesn't go off if you open the bale so you can put as much in as you want into the feeders. We will put them onto silage about a month before calving. So today, one of those henches, on top of my finger there, is getting shifted. We dig are coming in. I thought it, I thought it came along last night because we passed him on the road, and um, we must have been taking the digger elsewhere. Anyway, he's coming today and um, shift the hen shed and get all the dung shifted along the road. Gutters. Right, I've got this trailer yoked up. This is now officially my tractor, I guess. This was Dunks. Uh, Kev's got his trailer yoked up. Um, and then we're just waiting on the digger man arriving. And we'll get moving. Just get the front weight off, not needing that. Didn't see it this morning, but it was dark and it was hidden away. Right, we're all shackled up. We've got a big bar. There's two eyes in here that you connect to. And then he just pulls it back to the digger. And hopefully it'll just slide away. Kev gives it a bit of a pry up to loosen it off as well. And he's got the, the bucket to kind of drag himself if he needs it. There, it's moving. fairly smoothly. That's it, shifted. Just bringing the bar out the road. Um, all the hen pens now to be dug out and shift along the road. Right. 
Now to start shifting some hemp pen. Just scoops it in with a digger into the trailer, so speeds things up a bit while it's here. Should be about five loads come out of this, um, and then we'll shift some down from the cows as well, just while the trailer's real manky. And then basically that just leaves me and Kev with a shed to clean down. So it needs a full wash, disinfecting, to make sure no disease spreads or anything like that to the next batch of hens that come in. And then it'll get dragged back over into the same position. It's 10 to 10, so there's not too many people in the shop to get a good whiff of hen pen yet. Hope that tree is not in the way, the one that I said we didn't need to move because it'll never be in the way. Fine, fine, no bother. It's already all out. There's no hydraulic door in the back of this. I went out and opened it and it just flows out. There's not much solidity to it. Yum. Oh, it's damn stinking. Glad I brought my gloves. Feel the wheat there looking alright. You can see it's not been rolled. Ridges between the drill. The drill kind of get a wee bit of a ridge in between. Probably roll it in the spring. We're getting there. Cleared all. Well, that bit was a scratching area, but this is all cleared now. It's getting loaded up now. Third load, or my second load. There's probably another, maybe two there after that. That's the hut there. That's the scratching area that goes on the far end of it. Oh, that's what you love to see. Sheep in the field are meant to be in. Fantastic. Ooh. Test my flexibility this, Jesus. <laughs> this stuff's a wee bit firmer. It's not as liquidy you can see that load it's just like it's just washed out right, this is the final load get it along the road that's the pad done cleared so it's friday today it'll probably take about two days to clean everything power wash everything so we'll not get started today we'll just move some dung from the cows while we're at the trailers and then get started on that probably monday tuesday or whenever we've got a couple of days we don't need to stop and do other things at the same time. I've only got a half load, so I'll start mucking out the pens here. Time to do this and then get Kev loaded as well. We'll get our piece after that. And then we'll just be going back and forward. It's not desperately needing done, but might as well. as much in that one because no hydraulic door so it pivots along that line so you put it really high and tip it it can get wedged whereas that one hydraulic door it pivots here so it goes right the way up high and you get a big gap at the back had some grub heading back along the road i've given my windows a wee bit of a wash so it's quite sunny today it's a bit of a glare so look a bit better now what a difference Oh my toe! There we go. It packed up two blue machines.
Right, this trailer is full, so I'll shift that out of the way so I can tip into that one. Quite a bucket for this. We don't use the big bucket, um, keep it for kind of grain and wood chips, keep it clean and nice. This, this old bucket is perfect for, perfect for jobs like this. Get it manky, no problem. This one's got dents and things and scratches and it used to be yellow. So another two loaded up. The bucket's picking it up easy. Sometimes if it gets really thick, the bucket doesn't do a very good job, but it's not that deep yet, so bucket's fine. Piles growing, Kev's just dumped there. Right, these are the last two loads, so I'm just going to bed the space that we've created. Um, we've probably managed to do about half of the shed, half of the bit where the cows are. Uh, but it's kind of kind of the end of the day and need two people to do this, keep the gates open and stuff. Right, that's everything back to normal, just getting the last trough in. We're all bedded again, so we're happy. There's a white pheasant, I don't see them very often. Anyway, last load, Tung Midden again, back and forward, and at home time. Doesn't fall so much when it's from the cattle, compared to the hens anyway. You have to get this right tipped up for it to slide out the bed. There you go, there it comes. Oh, lovely nutritious stuff. Soil will love it. A fair pile of cardboard and plastics and whatnot to squash. It's fine when it's full when it's a calm day, but when it's windy, what a mess. Right, done. You can see where we bedded up to, up to there. But that bit goes all the way across there. So we've done kind of this front section where they feed, uh, where they eat, because they make a right mess of it. And the back bit, it's not too bad. They kind of just go there and lie down. So we'll see what happens. Maybe Monday we'll finish the rest of it, but ugh, there's plenty of other stuff to do and it's not desperate. We'll be doing it. It'll all get done again before calving, um, just to make it all clean and tidy again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. Big red button, subscribe and like in those two corners. And we'll see where we're at. What we're almost at 4,000. Today we're at like 3,850. So by the time this comes out, we'll not be far away from 4,000. Anyway, thanks. Both, both. Do you see